Billy Wilder was born in 1906 in Austria-Hungary in what is now Poland. His family was Jewish and middle class with his father owning a successful grocery store. As a child, Wilder was exposed to the world of theater and literature which sparked his interest in storytelling. Wilder's family moved to Vienna when he was 12, where he continued to be exposed to the arts. He attended the University of Vienna and studied law, but he soon realized that his true passion was writing and storytelling. In the 1920s, Wilder began working as a journalist and a screenwriter in Berlin. He worked for several newspapers and wrote for various German film studios. During this time, Wilder was heavily influenced by the work of German filmmakers such as Fritz Lang and Ernst Lubitsch. In 1933, Wilder moved to Paris to escape the rise of Nazi Germany. He continued to write for French film studios and worked on several screenplays. In 1934, Wilder moved to the United States, where he would go on to become one of Hollywood's most successful directors and writers. Wilder's early exposure to the arts, particularly theater and literature, played a significant role in shaping his storytelling style. His experiences in Berlin and Paris also had a profound impact on his work, as he was exposed to different filmmaking techniques and styles. Throughout his career, Wilder was influenced by a variety of mentors and collaborators, including director Ernst Lubitsch and writer Charles Brackett. These relationships helped Wilder hone his craft and develop his unique voice as a filmmaker. Billy Wilder was a renowned writer and director known for his work on classic films like Some Like It Hot and The Apartment. He was born in Austria in 1906 and later moved to Hollywood, where he became a dominant figure in the film industry. Wilder's unique storytelling style and ability to tackle serious subjects with humor set him apart from his contemporaries. He was known for his sharp wit and willingness to push boundaries, making him a trailblazer in film. Do you have a personal story of how Billy Wilder has impacted your life? We would love to hear it in the comments below. What makes Wilder stand out to you from other writers and directors of his time? Let us know in the comments. We have many fascinating facts coming up about Billy Wilder, including some funny, shocking, and sad stories. So keep watching this video to learn more. Billy Wilder's work has left a lasting impact on the film industry and continues to be celebrated today. His ability to create captivating stories that resonate with audiences is a testament to his talent and enduring legacy. So, share your stories and memories of Billy Wilder with us. We can't wait to hear them. Billy Wilder's passion for writing was ignited when he was a young boy living in Austria. He was an avid reader and loved getting lost in the stories he discovered. This love for storytelling eventually led him to try his hand at writing here, and he quickly realized that he had a talent for crafting compelling narratives. Wilder's first taste of success as a writer came when he was still in his teens. He wrote a humorous article that was published in a local newspaper, and the positive feedback he received fueled his desire to pursue a career in writing. After moving to Berlin in the 1920s, Wilder began working as a screenwriter in the German film industry. He quickly made a name for himself as a talented and witty writer, and his work caught the attention of Hollywood executives. In 1933, Wilder moved to the United States to continue his career in the film industry. He faced many challenges as a Jewish immigrant in Hollywood, but he never let that deter him from pursuing his passion. Wilder's determination and talent paid off, and he went on to become one of the most successful and acclaimed writers and directors in Hollywood history. His work, including classics like Some Like It Hot and The Apartment, continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Billy Wilder was a significant figure in the film industry, known for his work as a director, producer, and screenwriter. During his era and beyond, he greatly influenced Hollywood through his innovative and groundbreaking films. Wilder's career spanned over five decades, and he made a substantial contribution to the film industry with his unique storytelling style and ability to tackle various genres. He won numerous awards, including six Academy Awards, for his work on films such as The Apartment, Some Like It Hot, and Sunset Boulevard. Wilder's films often explored complex themes and social issues, such as the darker side of Hollywood and Sunset Boulevard, and the impact of corporate culture in The Apartment. He was known for his wit and humor, which he incorporated into his films, making them both entertaining and thought-provoking. 
Wilder's influence extended beyond his own films, as he inspired future filmmakers with his innovative approach to storytelling. He was a pioneer in the industry, pushing boundaries and taking risks with his work. In addition to his contributions to film, Wilder was also a prominent figure in the Hollywood community. He was known for his strong personality and his ability to work with some of the biggest stars of his time, including Marilyn Monroe, Jack Lemmon, and Audrey Hepburn. Overall, Billy Wilder's impact on the film industry is undeniable. His contributions to Hollywood continue to be celebrated and studied, and his films remain popular and relevant today. Wilder's legacy is a testament to his talent, creativity, and vision as a filmmaker. Billy Wilder, a talented writer, faced many challenges in his early career. Born in Austria, he faced financial struggles during his youth. However, he was determined to succeed in the film industry. Wilder moved to Hollywood in the 1930s, where he encountered skepticism from industry professionals due to his foreign background. Despite these obstacles, Wilder remained resilient. He taught himself English by watching American movies and reading English newspapers. To make ends meet, he worked as a taxi driver and a dishwasher. Wilder's big break came when he started writing for Columbia Pictures. However, he still faced challenges as his scripts were often rejected or altered by studios. In response, Wilder began directing his own scripts, giving him complete creative control. One of Wilder's most significant creative solutions was his collaboration with filmmaker Charles Brackett. They formed a successful writing partnership, creating films such as Ninochka and The Lost Weekend. Their collaboration helped Wilder gain recognition and respect in the industry. Wilder's resilience and creative solutions allowed him to overcome early obstacles and become one of Hollywood's most celebrated writers and directors. His legacy includes classics such as Sunset Boulevard, Some Like It Hot, and The Apartment. Ray Mullane had reservations about playing the lead role in the film as he was unsure if he and Billy Wilder could successfully execute the project. The screenplay for The Lost Weekend contained a clear instruction at the beginning play very angry, suggested speed 110 miles an hour on curves, 140 miles an hour on straightaways. Wilder, who couldn't oversee the censorship of the movie due to scheduling conflicts, delegated the task to editor Ernest Walter. However, Wilder was reportedly unhappy with the cuts made by Walter, as many of the deleted scenes were lost and could not be restored. Some of these scenes are available today, but not always with both audio and video intact. Billy Wilder, a prominent figure in American cinema, experienced several breakthrough moments throughout his career. One significant achievement was the success of his screenplay for Ninochka, which marked his first major success in Hollywood. The film's clever dialogue and unique blend of comedy and drama showcased Wilder's storytelling abilities. Later, Wilder directed and co-wrote Double Indemnity, a groundbreaking film noir. This movie not only established Wilder as a skilled director, but also helped define the film noir genre with its intricate plot and memorable characters. Critics and peers alike praised Wilder's work on Double Indemnity, recognizing his innovative approach to storytelling. Another turning point in Wilder's career was Sunset Boulevard, a film that explored the darker side of Hollywood. The movie's critical and commercial success further solidified Wilder's reputation as a leading filmmaker. Sunset Boulevard is now considered a classic in American cinema, and Wilder's nuanced direction and biting satire continue to resonate with audiences today. Wilder's career continued to flourish with films like Some Like It Hot, which featured a daring and humorous exploration of gender roles. The film's success and its impact on popular culture have been widely recognized, with many considering it a trailblazer in its treatment of gender and sexuality. Throughout his career, Billy Wilder's work has left an indelible mark on the film industry. His ability to push boundaries and explore complex themes has earned him a place among the most influential directors in Hollywood history. Billy Wilder, a renowned film director and screenwriter, had a unique way of working with his actors. Jack Lemmon, who worked with Wilder in several films, agreed to star in The Apartment before even seeing the script. Such was his faith in the director. The film's dark humor and character dynamics were reminiscent of The Odd Couple, rather than its source material, Arthur Conan Doyle's The Adventure of the Blue Carbuncle. 
Wilder's meticulous direction was not always easy for his actors to handle. Robert Stevens, who played Sherlock Holmes in Wilder's The Private Life of Sherlock Holmes, found the director's demands challenging. Amid personal issues with his wife, Maggie Smith, Stevens overdosed on sleeping pills and whiskey during filming. He later claimed it was not a suicide attempt, but the incident highlighted the pressure of working with Wilder. Despite the challenges, Wilder's films left a lasting impact on cinema with their wit, depth, and unforgettable characters. Billy Wilder, a legendary writer in the world of cinema, had a distinctive approach to his work. He was known for his ability to blend comedy and drama seamlessly, creating a unique tone in his films. Wilder's creative process often began with a simple idea or concept, which he would then develop into a full script through extensive research and collaboration with his writing partner, IAL Diamond. Wilder's personal experiences and worldview greatly influenced his work. Having grown up in Austria and witnessed the rise of Nazi Germany, he often explored themes of morality, justice, and the human condition in his films. His background in journalism also informed his writing style, favoring sharp, witty dialogue and tight, well-structured narratives. One of Wilder's most notable qualities as a writer was his ability to create complex, fully realized characters. He had a knack for capturing the nuances of human behavior and portraying them on screen in a way that felt both authentic and entertaining. Whether it was the cynical reporter in Ace in the Hole or the aging movie star in Sunset Boulevard, Wilder's characters were always richly drawn and memorable. Despite his success, Wilder remained humble and dedicated to his craft throughout his career. He was known for his meticulous attention to detail and his willingness to rewrite and revise his scripts until they were perfect. This commitment to excellence earned him a reputation as one of the greatest writers in Hollywood history with a body of work that continues to resonate with audiences today. Billy Wilder, a well-known director, had a vision for his film The Apartment that differed from the studios. He insisted on an actor with dramatic weight for the role of Dr. Dreyfus rather than the studio's choice of Groucho Marx. This decision was crucial to the film's success. The apartment turned out to be one of Wilder's biggest hits. However, a dispute over profits arose when the studio accountants informed him that the losses from his previous film, Ace in the Hole, would be deducted from his earnings on this film. This led to Wilder's departure from Paramount. Jack Lemmon, who starred in the film, spoke highly of Wilder's filmmaking techniques. He particularly appreciated Wilder's use of hooks, memorable bits of business that leave a lasting impression on the audience. One such hook was the passing of the key to Baxter's apartment, which became a memorable moment in the film. Years after the film's release, Lemon was still approached by people asking about the key. In summary, Billy Wilder's artistic vision and filmmaking techniques contributed to the success of the apartment, despite disagreements with the studio over profits. Jack Lemon's reflections on working with Wilder highlight the director's ability to create memorable moments that endure in the minds of audiences. Billy Wilder was a significant figure in the film industry, known for his work as a writer and director. He contributed numerous classic films, including Sunset Boulevard, Some Like It Hot, and The Apartment. Wilder's writing is celebrated for its wit, depth, and complexity. According to film critic Leonard Maltin, Billy Wilder was a master of scriptwriting with a unique ability to combine humor and drama in a way that felt both natural and profound. His influence on storytelling is evident in the way he tackled controversial subjects and pushed boundaries. For instance, some like it hot featured cross-dressing and gender-bending themes, which were groundbreaking for its time. Moreover, Wilder's techniques have inspired many filmmakers. Director Quentin Tarantino has cited Wilder as an influence, praising his ability to balance humor and drama. He once said, Billy Wilder's films are a masterclass in storytelling with every line and shot carefully crafted to serve the story. Wilder's impact on the industry is undeniable as he helped shape the golden age of Hollywood with his unique vision and storytelling prowess. His work continues to resonate with audiences and inspire filmmakers today. Billy Wilder and Walter Matthau's first collaboration was on the film Mirage, though Matthau was initially Wilder's pick for the seven-year itch. During the filming of a scene with Russian ballerinas, 
Wilder instructed Colin Blakely to dance like Nurev and act like Lawton. After the first take, Wilder complimented Blakely, but pointed out that he had mixed up the instructions. The memorable line, I don't go to church. Kneeling bags my nylons was suggested by Wilder's wife, Audrey Young. Billy Wilder, the renowned writer and filmmaker, had a rich personal life that greatly influenced his work. He was known for his love of literature, music, and art, which often found their way into his movies. Wilder had a deep appreciation for classic literature, and many of his films contain references to famous novels and plays. In addition to his love of the arts, Wilder was also passionate about social justice and equality. He was a strong supporter of civil rights and often used his platform to advocate for marginalized communities. Wilder was also known for his philanthropic efforts and made significant contributions to various charitable organizations throughout his life. One of Wilder's most notable philanthropic efforts was his support for the Motion Picture and Television Fund, an organization that provides financial assistance and healthcare services to members of the entertainment industry. Wilder was a longtime supporter of the fund and served on its board of directors for many years. Wilder's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his work as a writer and filmmaker. He believed in using his platform to advocate for social justice and to create art that was both entertaining and thought-provoking. Wilder's contributions to the world of cinema are still celebrated today and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of filmmakers and writers. Despite facing many challenges throughout his life, Wilder remained committed to his craft and to using his talents to make the world a better place. His passion for literature, music, and art, as well as his dedication to social justice, are just a few of the many factors that made him a truly exceptional individual. Billy Wilder, the renowned filmmaker, stood taller than expected at 5'11", contrary to his often perceived short stature due to his round face and boundless energy. During his later years, his office was constantly bombarded with calls from people seeking to remake his films, to which he would respond that he didn't own the rights and promptly end the call. When it came to casting for his film, The Private Life of Sherlock Holmes, Wilder opted for lesser known actors over stars like Peter O'Toole and Peter Sellers, demonstrating his unique approach to filmmaking. Billy Wilder, a prominent figure in the film industry, is known for his exceptional work as a writer and director. His legacy lies in the many classic films he created, such as Sunset Boulevard and Some Like It Hot, which continue to captivate audiences today. Wilder's ability to tell compelling stories with wit and humor has left a lasting impact on the industry. He was a master of blending different genres and incorporating social commentary into his work. His contributions have helped shape the film industry and have inspired countless aspiring professionals. For those looking to follow in Wilder's footsteps, his advice is to tell the truth. He believed that honest storytelling is what resonates with audiences and makes for great films. Wilder also emphasized the importance of hard work and perseverance, stating that you have to have a passion for it and you have to be willing to put in the time and effort. In terms of future contributions, Wilder's legacy continues to inspire new generations of filmmakers to push the boundaries of storytelling and to create films that both entertain and challenge audiences. By staying true to their vision and putting in the hard work, aspiring professionals can make their mark in the industry and carry on Wilder's legacy. Billy Wilder married Audrey Young, an actress and former singer with the Tommy Dorsey Band in 1949 after meeting her on the set of The Lost Weekend. In 1954, Wilder suggested the finale of The Country Girl, which was approved by Marlon Brando and shot by George Seaton. Wilder had a successful partnership with screenwriter IAL, Diamond, and together they won an Oscar for The Apartment in 1960. Billy Wilder was a writer with a deep passion for storytelling. He started his journey in the entertainment industry in Europe where he worked as a screenwriter and journalist. However, it was in America where he truly made his mark. Wilder was known for his innovative approach to filmmaking. He wasn't afraid to take risks and push boundaries, which helped him to create some of the most memorable movies of all time. From the witty banter and some like it hot to the gripping drama of Sunset Boulevard, Wilder's work resonated with audiences and critics alike. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout his career, Wilder never gave up. 
he persevered through setbacks and continued to create stories that captivated audiences. His determination and creativity earned him numerous accolades, including multiple Academy Awards. Wilder's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today. His movies continue to inspire new generations of filmmakers and writers. They serve as a reminder of the power of creativity and the importance of taking risks. In the end, Wilder's legacy is one of passion, innovation, and perseverance. He proved that with hard work and dedication, anyone can make their mark on the world. So, let us all be inspired by Billy Wilder's journey, and remember that with creativity and determination, we can achieve great things. Audrey Hepburn, star of the 1966 film How to Steal a Million, originally wanted Cristobal Balenciaga to design her costumes. However, after he declined, she turned to Hubert de Givenchy, Balenciaga's protege. It is said that Billy Wilder's wife, Audrey, discovered Givenchy during a Paris shopping spree and introduced him to her husband. The resort scenes in How to Steal a Million were filmed entirely at the Hotel Del Coronado in San Diego, California. Billy Wilder chose this location due to Marilyn Monroe's personal problems. Living on site at the hotel allowed her to avoid being transported, making the filming process more convenient. Ben Heck's scripts for the film were ultimately not used. Heck died from a heart attack in April 1964, just two days before he was set to present his scripts to Charles Feldman. The final script, which was completely rewritten by Billy Wilder, only retained the idea of giving the name James Bond to multiple agents. In Heck's version, this plot device occurred after the original James Bond's death, causing confusion for the opposition. Let's hear your thoughts about the remarkable work of Billy Wilder, a legendary writer known for his timeless contributions to the world of entertainment. With a career spanning over four decades, Wilder's films have captivated audiences and left an indelible mark on the industry. From Sunset Boulevard to Some Like It Hot, his stories have resonated with people of all ages, showcasing his incredible talent and versatility. By exploring various themes and genres, Wilder has created a vibrant tapestry of work that continues to inspire filmmakers today. Take this opportunity to share your favorite Billy Wilder films, what you've learned from his storytelling, and how his legacy has influenced the way we enjoy movies. Your insights and opinions are valuable, so don't hesitate to express them in the comments below. If you find this discussion intriguing, please like and share this post with your friends. Your support helps us create more content celebrating the creative spirits that shape the entertainment we cherish. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more engaging discussions about the artists who have left their mark on the world of entertainment.